So hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and what I have in front of me is a Radon RX 517. Now this one is built for non-stop action. I wonder if they had mining in mind. Probably not. Well this is the GPU. Basically it has a durability which uh, they said they have a ball bearing that uh, lasts twice the time that normal one lasts. So that's basically four months in mining. Non-stop challengers, whatever, and the non-stop gaming. So you know what? I'll be unboxing this thing. Now I do need to uh, be gentle with this seal. So yeah, let's open it like a pro. Let's take a look at what's inside. So what do we get? Now well, a box, foam. A GPU and well, I guess these are drivers and well something. Unboxing wise, this is not the greatest experience ever. I need to open this thing as well. So let's open it and uh, let's take a look at the GPU. So uh, okay, this GPU is actually quite light. I expected this thing to be harder, but. If this thing is true and these fans are ball bearings, this should be a quite a good GPU. So, let's take a look. There are only four 1-8 uh, pin connector and this is actually rather nice, especially if you have razors that uh, have a PCI Express connector. So, you can use actually only two rails. Okay, let's hook this thing up and let's test it. So I did start Windows 10 and the first thing I need to do is actually to uh, well download the uh, blockchain drivers. So this is actually working. I guess Windows 10 did install. Let's see what will be the speed with all the four default drivers installed by uh, by Windows 10. Just out of curiosity. So this is uh, mining without any. Uh, Nothing modified whatsoever. Yes. So this is 19 mega hashes with uh, default drivers installed by uh, Windows. Now this is a fresh installation of Windows 10 so obviously I have nothing installed. Even the drivers that you see are installed automatically. I have R9390. So yeah, this is 19 mega hashes. Okay, now uh, let's install Crimson drivers. And let's see what's it all about, yes. So this is still installing, it does take a some time, but let's run, I did install GPU-Z and just to see what memory this card has and what are the settings. Well this is Alpida, I guess they put it everywhere, so I believe it is the, uh, well, the cheaper version, Samsung is way better, but okay, let's skip this thing and Let's close and let's see whether I can start actually mining without uh, restart. Let's see if there is any change. So this is the, uh, these are the uh, drivers, the latest blockchain drivers and let's see whether there is any difference when they are installed. Okay, 22 mega hashes, so 
when you installed the blockchain drivers, you actually we got uh, well three or four mega hashes. Now let's try uh, changing the BIOS. I will be dumping the original one and uh, modifying it, obviously. So let's do that. So I'm opening the BIOS file, desktop. All files, original. And let's click one patch timing and let's change the uh, clock to 1950 apply changes save as okay I will be saving this thing as uh, modded so let's try and flash it I do need to rename this file to uh, 570 modded.rom because, well, I believe I have a couple of those. What speeds do we get when we flash this uh, modded ROM? Now this is just, I would say, stock modded. You will obviously need to tweak it a bit more if you uh, you wish to get more of uh, well speed so let's reboot and let's uh, see what did we get let's see the power consumption before we start mining so the power consumption is I said I would say around 100 uh, well, around 240 watts because it does oscillate from 230 to 250 so let's say 240 watts now let's see the speed that we got by only um, changing the RAM speed from 1750 to 1950 and uh, well applying the uh, memory stripe, stripe that's uh, well a good one a good one I would say a mining friendly stripe but I think that we'll get around to 28.9.5 something like that you can't actually go wrong with these cards. Now the only problem that these cards actually have are fans and these ones are supposedly good ones. So, go figure. The fans are starting to spin up and as I have said 28.5 megahashes. Now I will be leaving this thing to, uh, to see uh, just how hot it gets. Oh wait, wrong. Well, Let's start the calculator and we had 240 watts minus 356 watts, 306, 370, 300 and let's say 370, minus 370. So there you have it, <laughs> this, part, this card uses 130 watts, this is awesome. Now let's take a look at what does GPU-Z actually say just to be on the safe side sensors 113 watts so there you have it but as I said it's 130 the board itself uses some wattage so yeah the fans did start to spin and they're not unlike the last one these ones are spinning all the time so that's quite nice although uh, they're not detected by uh, driver hmm, interesting if that uh, I'll be leaving it for like let's say for around five minutes and if I do get uh, any uh, any how should I say any info I will be posting if not well that's pretty much it if you have any if you have any questions please ask if you like click like uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and I will be posting these two BIOSes in the well in the description down below one is the original one and the other one is this one that's modded so there you have it well five minutes have passed and I still get no info regarding the uh, well the uh, temperature and the fan speed so well that sucks however I can get one with GPU-Z with sensors so let's take a look 
and the temperature so temperature is 69 degrees that's 70 degrees that is quite a lot and the fan speed is at 50 percent so it does tend to get hot and bear in mind it's rather cold in here and this is the only gpu it is in my tower but the tower is open so that might be an issue <laughs> interesting <laughs> 